Alright, hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to get a first look at Sentinel in Dark Dimension 6. Now, I'm going to very briefly go over the kits and I'm going to explain some of the reasons for why um, I am not taking Sentinel to G19 just yet. Um, and that's just some bonus uh, pro tips for you. Uh, the reason I'm not taking him to G19 is because I'm planning for DD9. That's right, this guy is planning for DD9 before DD8 is even out. DD8 requires purple ISO, and uh, my plan is to try and get through DD8 with just uh, them being at G18. Because remember, G19 will, I mean, uh, DD9 will more than likely be uh, G20. And these, look at this, these are, th these do not fall off trees. These are very hard to accumulate over time and uh, G20 will also require them. And so the more tech characters you have, the more your, uh, these things will become a huge bottleneck along with the minis, even the minis themselves. Look, it's not like I have, I'm just, I'm, it's not like I'm sitting on a bunch, right? That's, a, that's like two characters at most. So you, you, I'm planning again until I absolutely need to, uh, I will not be taking them to G19 in preparation for DD9. And hopefully between now and then, all my concerns will mean nothing. All of this stuff will be all over the place and we'll be swimming in it. But uh, until then, uh, I'm not equipping it. So that's the reason why I'm not taking the G19 and why this test or this first look is not happening in DD7. Um, it is a level 100. Sentinel is a 3 and 3. Now, there is an update slated for uh, next week. Uh, very quickly uh, on spawn and it, when he, if he gets revived. Uh, he's going to summon an ally. It's going to be this gun or sword. Uh, on this character's first turn, gain taunt. And then apply safeguard for two turns to self and all allies. This would be cool if it was on spawn. I can understand why they didn't. But that keep an eye out for that. And we're not going to care about the raids. Um, for his this ultimate, does 300% damage. But he gains 50% per sentinel reinforcement ally. So if he has five, which you're going to see that eventually gets to... He, you can, he's going to be doing it for 550% damage, all right? And it's unavoidable. It's a nice nice ability. And then I love the fact that they're always summoning, right? They're always summoning somebody. And so, but this one's really good is that this one applies defense up for two turns and two deflects to self and all Orcus allies. The basic is just, uh, just some damage, apply offense down and apply counters to self and all Orcus allies. So that's a, I'll show you very quickly uh, what the updates are supposed to be. Uh, this is the passive for Sentinel. You'll see that on spawn, if this character has two or more Orcus allies, the summon Sentinel, remember on spawn, he summoned somebody, they're gonna get taunt. So it kind of functions as an on spawn taunt. Apply immunity to self and all Orcus allies. Nice. And then uh, if this character has three or more Orcus allies, enemies cannot gain death proof or deflect. So that's nice. Uh, the special update, they screwed up. Uh, it's exactly a copy and paste, so we don't know what the change is supposed to be, uh, but we'll find out. But all right, so let's get back to, uh, let's go take a look at some of the gameplay um, in Dark Dimension 6. All right, so this is where this is the squad we're taking in. We're taking in uh, Lady Deathstrike, obviously Science is Supreme and Sentinel, and I'm gonna pair them up with Nightcrawler and Quicksilver. Now, for Dark Dimension Six purposes, if you are going through Dark Dimension Six, you can take in Apocalypse. I could take in Apocalypse. You know what? Let's do that. Let's take in Apocalypse. Um, this will give them a little bit more of a stat boost, but I really just wanted to show them show you that uh you know you don't necessarily need someone like apocalypse but we'll take them in you can take a look at it now as obvious as always with these first looks um focus more on what's happening the interactions who's taking turns etc see see uh, one thing i will say is it's always nice to take in especially with scientist supreme she gets 50 percent speed bar and will more than likely be going first on every single uh entry or spawn in and once you apply this ultimate, which I absolutely love, which the your uh, the Orcus allies are immune from, it also gives them speed up. So you're going to see that a lot of characters go uh, uh, go well ahead of characters you would normally expect. So watch this. Boom. You debilitate the enemy. Look at the speed up, speed up, speed up, speed up. He already had speed up. And he gets rid of two. And again, I'm not saying you have to use Nightcrawler. It'd be nice 
if you're only rolling with three at the moment, if you had a character that kind of self cleanses or spawns with immunity like a, a Apocalypse, he's not affected by this, right? So check this out, debilitated, defense down, slow for two turns, offense down for two turns, incredible. Now, you, now you're gonna realize because they got all these slows on everybody, you're just gonna run rough shot on everybody. Now, obviously, my characters, um, Lady Deathstrike is one hundred level one hundred three diamond. Your, you know, I I always get to go. Oh, your character is a Yes, scale it to whatever yours is at, dude. Like really, this is just to show you what what potentially can happen. Uh, obviously. Uh, yours will not do this thing. Look at that. Three mil, two mil, and then she gets kissed. Go again. Murder. Call the police. Look at this. Boom. APB on this murder. Um, you're, obviously, your damage is going to be something relative to, to where your own characters are at. Now, remember, first turn. Boom. Safeguard, 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 safeguard. Now, remember the update. Uh, what was the update going to do? I can't remember. I think it says. Uh, uh, the update will then provide um, uh, immunity. So we'll also get immunity with safe... <laughs> Come on, man. Absolutely incredible. Um, now, remember, here's the ultimate here. Um, we only have one, en one sentinel summon so far, but this is going to bring in two more. So the damage is going to be 300% plus 150. So let's take a look. This is a three and three level 100 sentinel. Let's take a look at the damage. So here comes the two two summons. Boom, there's one, two. I do like the mod. Check this out, the damage. Three and three. Boom! 1.8 mil as a three and three. Come on now. Come on now. Um, now, now I, I have to be honest with you. I haven't paid much attention to these uh, these summons. Uh, on spawn, apply deflect. That's nice. <laughs> I didn't even know they did that. That's really nice. And then this attack does attack primary targets for three. Oh, that's just pretty basic. And then uh, I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna use this. I don't want I don't want Apocalypse to overshadow what we're trying to do. Let's let's let the Orcus take care of business. Um, so I'm just gonna do this as well. I'm just gonna use basics. We'll let Orcus do most of, carry most of the load. And who's this? Sentinel Blast. It's the same thing. So we didn't get lucky. The other one's better. The other one does. Yeah, this one here. Who's this? The Hunter. Um, oh, this is also nice too. I didn't even know this This summon did this. On spawn, flip all negative sex for self and all Orcus allies. That's, come on, man. <laughs> That's pretty good for a stupid summon to do on spawn. And then this also attacks primary and adjacent targets. Uh, this is the Hunter. I need to remember that. Hunter is nice. Look at that. Boom. Now, this is Scientist Supreme. Uh, Scientist Supreme, look, you, this this heals for 15% of this character's max health. Uh, she's at 9 mil, so she's going to do like a 1.5 mil heal, but I don't need it at the moment. We're going to use her one offense ability. <laughs> two, mil, two mil from the most... This is the fifth person. This is the one coming off the bench. She's not that good in terms of offense, right? She's just a defensive player. Boom. Okay, this sucks. That, that is a heal. That, that is a health-driven uh, damage, I believe. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and use the basic, like I said. We're gonna we're gonna keep Apocalypse as uh, invisible as much as possible. We don't want him to uh, steal the shine. Now check this out. We have one summon, two summon, three summon. This is like a cat in a hat, uh, uh, a cat in a hat book. Uh, then we're going to use the, the special, which will give defense up, which is, in my opinion, the more important one. Apply defense up for two turns and deflect. And then we're going to uh, summon one random ally. Hopefully, I, I don't know what it's. I don't know what the other one, uh, gun or sword. Is there another one? That's the hunter. I didn't even see the name on that. But anyways, here we go. Boom. We'll bring more in. See, this is. I have to tell you. Um, and and don't get me wrong. I uh, oh remember too. Anytime you summon, Scientist Supreme's passive gives ability energy to her Orcus allies. Awesome. Who's... Uh, well, let me finish this one point first. I always... the Sentinel feels like what I thought Ultron should have felt like. You know, this, this feeling of uh, unrelenting, just constantly coming at you with, with summons. 
um, that you don't actually have to. It just, it just, you know, from an enemy's perspective, I can see how it feels a bit overwhelming. Um, but, you know, it, it's just me lamenting on the sad state of Ultron, <laughs> I guess. Um, but also, like, I don't, you know, we as a community, like, I, I really like even the three-piece Orcus. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. I, I love this. This is a three-star Sentinel. And uh, it doesn't even matter if he dies. You see that one there? We got plenty more that's going to be coming. So, uh, but I guess what I'm saying is we as a community have... People, people, are people still saying this? Hopefully they're not. People are still, people were saying like, or oh, Orcus is trash. This is, I mean, this is before the rework. You know what I mean? Like that, I mean, yeah, they had a bunch of barrier. That did over, you know, almost 1.5 mil damage. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know why people. Oh, check this out. I'm gonna save this. Here's the damn. Here's oh oh. We have like one or two people that need some health. Boom! Complete heal. Look at this. We are rocking and rolling. What is this? Since this is the, this is the AOE one. Boom. Now uh, I guess that's the name of the ability, Hunter. <laughs> I thought that was the name of the summon. All right, so let's check this out. I, I guess what I'm saying that like the the community at large always expects like the latest team to just destroy everything. Like, that, come on, guys. Like, come on now. That's, that's not. I don't know, man. I don't know what the expectations of people are. Like, I don't get it. Like, it's not. I don't personally expect every team to destroy everything in every single mode. That just would make every release pointless because the. The, the, the team before they came just came out would be obsoleted, right? Or, I mean, again, you'd have better options or tools, but I don't expect them to rock. I don't know, man. I, everyone just expects everyone to destroy everything. That doesn't make sense to me. But uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying the Sentinels right now. Um, especially in Dark. This, I mean, this is not a chump. This is not a chump change uh, uh, node. This is, a, this is a pretty good... Uh, they do decent damage. I think because Scientist Supreme and Lady Deathstrike have so much health that for them to make a lot of headway, it'd be very difficult. And you're going to see on the next wave, uh, we do run into trouble because they have an apocalypse and they have a Red Hulk that you're trying to control. And uh, they can they can get rid of this team, this this squad. Um, but but that's but that's one of the main focal points of this. Uh, of this node is that that's where you one of the main pinch points now check this out you saw that energy because our allies have or orcus allies have a negative effect she doles out ability energy right generate two for a all aim and orcus with the negative effect Psh, give me that right now check this out boom debilitate everybody that's fine and if they happen to even get a turn off then great, we get ability energy. And then we get to have uh, this murderer do her thing. Boom, look at that. The special or ultimate's almost always available. The insta-deleted Squirrel Girl. And of course, if you don't have her at three diamonds, it'll scale to whatever yours is, right? Um, look at this. The Sentinel. <laughs> Just incredible. Uh, here comes the special again. I don't think we lost anyone. We did get the uh, defense up and deflex. Boom. Decent damage for a summon. Again, not using any of this stuff. We'll let the rest of the crew do the work. Now, the next wave, I will use Apocalypse's ultimate because that's the, one of the only ways to get rid of the other Apocalypse. Boom. These guys are not strong enough at this moment. I love the summons. I mean, check this out. Boom, I probably could have left it um, and just kept getting ability energy, I think. But uh, just insta-kills that dude. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave it. And we're just waiting to get to this next, the next wave is the difficult one. Um, I'm gonna save this uh, for the next wave. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't, 
Uh, I am I am really enjoying this team. I can't wait to get Sentinel a little bit higher. Of course, the uh, the biggest uh, issues within the community are the release methods for this stuff. Yes, I totally agree. Total garbage. Like uh, <laughs> Scopely, Scopely man, Scopely. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a game to me, so I don't take it with a lot of stock, but uh, Scopely, man, they just... That, that greed is a hell of a thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alright, here we go. Here we go. I got you, Apocalypse. Boom. Oh, that's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough. Watch this. It's just gonna trigger him. Oh, not close! Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see if we can get to him. Hopefully Lady Deathstrike can go first. Okay, here, let me check out the damage. Boom, nice one point. I mean, we're already in the mills. We're already in the millions, and uh, we have not even, oh, if Lady Deathstrike can go, oh no, she keeps getting the minus whatever because of the little uh, hella minions, the Asgard minions, the Gregs. Uh, yeah, she's not gonna go, Apocalypse didn't go first. Oh, he used his uh, special, I, hmm. We did trigger his passive. Look at this. Yeah, he's just, he's not gonna do it. We lost the summon there. Um, that triggers the Red Hulk. See, I told you, this thing goes sideways. This is, this is a very, this is a very bad node. <laughs> or this is a bad wave. Um, but all right, uh, that's gonna be it for this one. This is where we uh, pro are probably crash and burn. We have trauma applied to us, so Scientist Supreme's uh, special doesn't even, isn't even gonna work. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments. I love this trio. I love Sentinel. I love the fact that it's just never ending summons, never ending uh, energy being ready. Yeah, I got, I got uh, negative effects on me. Cool, I'll just give energy to my, my teammates. Um, you know, and again, I don't understand the hate. And they're only going to get better in this coming week uh, with some buffs. So, I don't know, man. Uh, but just be mindful again, again, uh, Orcus is all tech, so just be mindful of the gear and only you know what resources you have. But all right, that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe, join the content, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.